David Wick here. Today I'm going to teach you a tip for how to organize the wrists, the hands, to better connect to the body, the shoulders, and use elastic resistance to strengthen this that will give you the ability to accelerate, to stop, to change directions with greater speed and power. So here's how it works. The key in this begins with the wrists. What we want to do with the wrists is we're going to position them with this cocked flexion toward the radius right here. Now this position with the wrist, check this out because this is pretty cool. It's very, very similar to how you would set up for any kind of a barbell press. You see how my wrist is here? This would be if I was bench pressing or if I'm overhead pressing, I'm using that barbell. You can see that position of the wrist right here is very similar to what I want you to do here, here for this technique. So, next is the hands. What we're gonna do specifically with the hands south of the wrists. We're gonna put the hands together in a prayer position. We're gonna flex down the hands and keep the fingers straight. So we're not doing this, we're doing this. It makes this diamond position. What this does is it creates a tensional balance in the forearms that bridges the hand and its fingers past the elbow. And it redistributes the tensional balance to the shoulders so the delts, the traps, the pecs, and the lats all can be harnessed better. And we're gonna reduce the, the tension and the restriction through the biceps or triceps. So, when I'm in that position supinating, you see how the biceps is shortened and it's tensed. But when I put it into that, like I'm doing the barbell press and I arrange the hand in that manner, now the biceps is longer and it has a little bit less resistance, tonus in it, and that's gonna send force from here to here cleaner and better. So that's the setup. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use elastic resistance to strengthen it, reinforce it, and give you this ability to use your arms better to run faster, acceleration primarily. So here's how it works. The elastic provides a unique form of resistance that's faster than gravity. Gravity's operating at 9.8 meters per second squared straight down. Elastics is moving faster than that. Imagine if I'm slingshotting, bang, a rack up how much higher and how much faster that's gonna go up fighting against gravity. If I have elastics and I try to throw the elastic, I try to throw the elastic, it never leaves my hand. It's faster than I am and it excites my nervous system to operate very, very fast in muscular contraction. So, I set up that position. Watch this, it's sort of like firing guns out of the holster. Boom, get the fingers and the hands right, get the wrists right with boom, right there. That's your position. Now put the elastic right on the radius. Don't get it caught on the hand. Don't be right on the wrist. Be right at the radius. So you have that nice, good, strong connection. And you're gonna come out, walk it out, keep the arm bent. Look at how it gets activated. Look at the biceps is long, not short. And I'm gonna take it back. And I'm gonna take it back. And I'm gonna feel, wow, a lot of work going on. I wanna maintain the position. And from here, I'm gonna rotate, keep that exactly the same spot, and I'm gonna rotate my body without changing the arm. And what this is doing is this is linking my arm with the maximum flexibility range of motion all the way back here to my spine. So now, once I've got that, and obviously I do both sides of it, I make them strong. You'll feel, wow, that was some unique form of work here. It reinforces the position with a nice bend here and a nice setup here. And now, I can now use that setup to move the arms faster through a, through a cleaner arc because of that position. So you focus on the wrists and moving them, boom, 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 at acceleration with that tension in the hands and you have less distance to go with better integration. Give that a shot. See if it doesn't make you run faster instantly. It may take you a little bit of work to set that position and get it reinforced so that you can use it effectively. But you will find, if done properly, you'll be able to start, stop, and change direction 
faster, more powerfully to give you an athletic advantage. Try it on for size, send back comments, tune in next time for more.